Good morning guys, happy Friday and welcome to my March lunchbox, letter G. Today we are talking about all things guilty pleasures. So G, my guide showed me guilt, guilty, and also the importance of pleasure attached to the guilt. So I've got my notes here, so if I'm looking down or looking all around, just go with it. I'm sure you're used to it. I'm gonna make this short and sweet, guys. I wanna get the message across in a, um, in a quicker uh, manner. So let's begin. Guilty pleasures. Now, for me, when I think guilty pleasures, I think of things that I do for myself, to myself, that necessarily aren't great for me. Um, and typically it's attached to an addiction or um, things like this. So let me explain. A guilty pleasure. So for me, a guilty pleasure is definitely um, binge drinking. Now, I am not a big drinker. I never have been, even though I grew up in a, a home environment uh, and with a parent that was an that is an alcoholic and there was alcohol all around me when I was growing up. I have never really been a big drinker. I'm quite short, I'm quite tiny, so it actually doesn't take me a lot to get absolutely sloshed. But I do love drinking alcohol and I absolutely um, and one of these people that when I start drinking, I don't want to go home, I want to stay out, I want to be social, and um, I'm definitely a fun drunk, and I know that anyone out there watching who's a mate of mine, um, hopefully can back that up. Um, I'm, I'm a happy, I'm a pest. I make people not want to go home and, and cause a ruckus in staying out late, and um, I just love, I love tipsy, I love being tipsy, but most importantly, I love a drink and I love being social about it. So for me, it really is a guilty pleasure because typically what happens is I start um, binge drinking and um, and I beat myself up about it and I make, my, my, uh, I make myself feel shit about it. When really, and I, there's no need to. There's no need to because at the end of the day, it makes me feel great. I have so much fun and it's very few and far between when I'm doing it. I mean, you know, when I was younger, it was, you know, I was a bit of a shocker, but now I really don't drink that much and, um, you know, I make up for it when I do, but it's, it's not a big issue in my life. And in the past, when I have been drinking, um, it's always been for fun. It's always been for fun. And this is coming from someone where um, I grew up where alcohol was a demon and it, and it changed family members into demons. I, I've seen some pretty dark shit um, in terms of alcohol. So I'm really proud of myself that I haven't gone down that path and I'm really proud of myself that I can acknowledge and accept that, um, yeah, I'm a binge drinker. Um, so if any of you out there can relate, it's really, really important, whatever your guilty pleasure is, whether it's smoking, whether it's binge drinking, whether it's, you know, a, a whole tub of ice cream every weekend, what's really, really important is that you don't beat yourself up about it and that you enjoy the process and you enjoy how it makes you feel. I learned at um, my uni, of, you know, when I first started, the importance of guilt uh, and nutrition, guilt and addictions. For example, if you're craving a Big Mac, okay, now fast food's pretty shit for you and, you know, let's be honest, there's not a lot of nutrition behind in chicken nuggets or a Big Mac. But if you're craving it, if your body is absolutely wanting to have that Big Mac and enjoy that Big Mac, then fucking go and have the Big Mac. Because what's going to happen is when you're doing things that aren't necessarily good for you or healthy for you, you then digest that, whether it's through liquid, whether it's through um, poor nutrition, whatever it is. If you're doing it and you are, so for example, if you're having your Big Mac and you eat the Big Mac and all while you're eating the Big Mac, you're saying, I shouldn't be eating it, you're feeling crap eating it, 
what that's going to do, that's going to affect your body system. It, it's going to cause bloating. It's going to bring forth all these symptoms that you typically wouldn't feel as much if you just accepted it and enjoyed it because that's what you were craving and you did it and you're fucking human. So be really aware of the things that you're craving that aren't typically good for you or healthy for you and enjoy it is what I'm trying to say. Now I'm not condoning that you go out and get absolutely sloshed every night and, and you know it's an excuse and things like this or take drugs all the time and it's an excuse. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that if you've got an urge to do something and you enjoy it, then do it because your body will thank you for it. I've got some messages here about that. So it's all about the importance of listening and accepting your body's cravings. It's accepting your body's urges. Now I know, I notice with myself that when I binge drink, for example, it's typically around the time where I've got a lot of stuff going on. I've got exams or I'm in a stressful situation at work or I've had a shit of a week or um, there's typically a trigger for it. It doesn't mean I'm going to go off on a bender, but it's, it's my body going, do you know what, Kel? You're actually needing to just have a bit of relaxation and you know that gin, gin, love gin, you know that gin's going to allow you to calm down. So enjoy that moment, enjoy what it gives you, accept it, and then move on. We're human, we're going to stuff up, we're going to be addicted to things that aren't typically healthy for us. But that is all about being human, and I think there's gotta be a lot of give and take out there. Um, I've got here, don't ignore or repress it because it will backfire and it will grow louder. Yeah, okay, so basically if you're craving um, to have Maccas or if you're craving to, um, if you're craving like that tub of ice cream, you know, just do it because when we repress, when we ignore, it only grows louder. It only grows louder and then that's when things become an unhe uh, unhealthy habit and that's when we get addicted to things because we've repressed it, we've ignored it, okay? We're being human. It's all about being human. It's all about enjoying the guilty pleasures of life. Um, it's when you get hooked on something that you can't break through from, that's when you need to look into it a bit, a bit further. I've got here, just before I finish, it's all to do with connection with yourself and self-love. So if you want to have that Maccas, if you want to have that bottle of gin, if you want to go out and be on the dance floor till four o'clock in the morning and binge drink, <sighs> retro, um, do it because you're acknowledging what your body wants. You're acknowledging that that part of you needs to be playful and express and, and have a great time. Acknowledge the inner child. Usually when we've got strong urges, usually when we've got strong messages to let our hair down through having that bowl of ice cream or, um, you know, not meditating every day, whatever it is, it's because we need to be more playful in our lives and our inner child is asking us to step forward and to be human and to be human in a gentle, playful way. And I guess at the end of this, what I'm trying to get across is that the more that you acknowledge your guilty pleasures, the more you can be playful with yourself and bring about that inner child. So guys, have a lovely um, a Friday. I hope this has resonated in, in uh, some shape or form for you. If you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, um, please leave them. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to send me a private message, do that as well. Um, enjoy your long weekend if you're in Melbourne. And um, yeah, happy Friday. Take care, be kind to yourself, look after yourself and acknowledge that inner child within. Take care, ciao.